So there's this lady in the car over here, a few spaces over. And uh, when I pulled up, I, I looked over because she was clearly on the phone talking to somebody. And then she looked at me like, what is this guy doing? And I'm like, I'm just making a video. What the hell are you doing, honey? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my pal Alex and Feisty Pants. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show. I am Sans Feisty Pants. It's, uh, it's a daytime. He's in school. And uh, we're talking pics for Backlash. That lash, I don't have to tell you guys how how pissed off I am at the world that everybody's sensitive about their feelings. If you fucking weigh a ton, you fucking weigh a ton. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ, get over it. We embrace our fatness. I'm the biggest fat bastard there is. That is the biggest fucking bumblebee i ever seen in my life. Jesus Christ. I might die. No, I'm, not. I'm fine. It's not going to get in the car. Um, let's talk backlash. It's this Sunday in Nork. That's how the Newark, the Newark people say Newark. They say Nark. Almost like a narc. Like who uh, would bust the kids in school for doing drugs. That's before your time, I'm sure. Um, but we say in the southern Jersey, we say Newark. Because we pronounce our syllables. We enunciate. <laughs> Channeling my inner Matt Hardy because he's fucking nuts. Um... Uh, there's a number of matches. I was looking online, you know, for opinions on who's going to win and stuff like that, besides who I'm going to think is going to win. And there were four other matches on the CBS website than there are on the rest of the card. So I have seven matches for sure. And then, are we doing these other four? I don't know. I, I, I only saw seven on WWE.com. That doesn't make any sense. Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley are tagging up against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. This is a real thing. This is really going to happen. Like, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn have a freaking chance. You have Braun Strowman. He's gi freaking gigantic. And then there's Bobby Lashley, who's the next freaking gigantic guy there is. How, how, how are they going to lose? How? Tell me how. I'm pretty sure this is going to be like a pre-show squash match. Or it's going to be, like, at least interesting. Where it's going to be like, oh, but Kevin Owens and, and Sami Zayn, they're put on such a good, such great wrestlers and blah, blah, blah. Look, that's great. They're great if, if they're from Canada. And, um, <laughs> come on. How can, I laugh at my own jokes. It's fine. I got enough. I got enough for everybody. Um, but, I mean, they've been doing this on, on the last couple of weeks of Raw. Braun Strowman just comes out there and he just destroys them. So now you're adding Bobby Lashley to Braun Strowman, and they're just going to destroy them again together. That's fine. Uh, whatever. The women's, Raw women's title is being defended. Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss getting her rematch against Nia Jax. Now, a lot of people seem to think that we're just going to move on from Alexa Bliss, and Nia Jax is going to you know, face a number of other opponents. And I'm okay with that. I, I am. I, um... You know, it gives uh, Alexa Bliss a chance to do something else and, uh, I don't know, put over the help. I, <laughs> I'm not sure. Until her chance comes around again. I'm, you know, she was all in from early on. And then uh, you got to come down sometime. So I'm going with Nia Jax on that one. Strom Strowman and Lashley, Nia Jax. Carmella is taking on Charlotte. Charlotte's getting her rematch. This is the dumbest thing ever. If y'all didn't get my... Um, Hold on, I gotta turn down the air conditioning here because like I'm blasting it in my face because it's a little warm out. Um, I can't wait for the rest of the day. Uh, WrestleMania comes around, Charlotte versus Asuka and the streak, and they end the streak just so Charlotte can lose the title the next night to Carmella. Carmella cashes in, and the Il Ilphonics, what the hell are they called? The Ilconics? I don't know what they are. The. <laughs> I can't say the C word on national television. Um, <laughs> maybe I can. I don't know. Uh, but so Charlotte, Charlotte, uh, they 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 put the streak to rest. Asuka is is like a laughing stock now. Charlotte loses to Carmella. Carmella cashes in. She gets the title. I doubt they're gonna have Carmella give it right back. Cause I mean, what what are they gonna do? What are they, what are they gonna have? Charlotte. Versus the Ilphonics. What are they called? The I don't even know. I can't read my handwriting. Uh, they're going to... Sh Charlotte versus them? I, I think Carmella, number one, needs to hold on to this title. Or else she's just the joke that everybody thinks she is. 
You know what I'm saying? I feel she's got a little bit of talent. Grim and the guys all like her, you know? And I they just they wasted her all year long with with uh, you know, her and Ellsworth, you know, just he's the you know, the sidekick and I'm the Ells, Ellsworth has a ton more talent than than that. And it's it's just like a waste on both their talents. So finally they cash in. Ellsworth is, you know, not with the WWE anymore. He's helping Grimm out. And um Carmella gets a title and they're gonna give it back to Charlotte a month later? Why? For fucking why? So Carmella's hanging on to this, and then Carmella can handle the new talent in the in the you know on the roster, and Charlotte can figure something out because she's Charlotte. It's gonna be great. Seth Rollins in the uh in the uh, on the card re uh, retype what what oh my god I'm trying to read my handwriting that I chicken scratched right quick. The Miz is getting his rematch is what I'm trying to interpret that as against Seth Rollins. Um, I feel Seth Rollins is going to hold on to this. There's no way the Miz is going to tie Jericho for uh, nine times, nine time title holding the Intercontinental title nine times something, something about the number nine. Brought to you by the letter F. <laughs> I got a new FU T-shirt. I cannot wait for another episode of of Beat the Buzzer and sh- to show you all. I I really I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can put it on. Um, you know, pro wrestling tees, where, along with the bus driver t-shirt, hashtag bus driver, trending worldwide, and hashtag dear YouTube, my other two shirts. I'm going to see if I can get the FU shirt on there, if they'll print it, because that, that would make some money. <laughs> I think everybody would want one of those. All right, so Seth Rollins keeps the title. AJ Styles, I feel this is where Nakamura is finally going to win, because this is what it is. Everybody likes AJ Styles. He's completely over. I finally like him. I didn't like him at first. I was like, who is this guy? But I like him now, which is great. But Nakamura, I'm not sold on Nakamura. Neither is the wrestling universe, the WWE universe. No one cares. He's this guy. But now he's a heel. And if he loses three times in a row to, to, to AJ Styles, he's he's just a bigger joke than they're making Carmella out to be. And I don't think Carmella's a joke. But it's just, you know, it's just how it is, man. If you're fat, you're fat. Fucking accept it. Accept it. Accept. Accept. Know your role. Understand your who you are and how much room you take up. Anyway, a, uh, I'm going with Nakamura to win this time. Daniel Bryan is facing Big Cass before he goes all out with The Miz. Uh, so somehow he's going to beat Big Cass. Big Cass is going to make a big screw up and um, <laughs> it's going to be it. Daniel Bryan and the Yes Movement all over the place. Roman Reigns versus Samoa Joe. <sighs> Everybody's going to expect Samoa Joe to win. But <laughs> nobody wants Roman Reigns to win. But if Roman Reigns keeps losing and losing and losing and losing, what the hell is Roman Reigns going to do? Is he going to finally fight um, uh, Baron Corbin? And, you know, everybody hates Baron Corbin. So they automatically cheer for, for Roman Reigns. I heard that was a rumor. I don't know how true that is. We'll see what happens. I have to go with Roman Reigns on this because Samoa Joe's coming off an injury. Uh, they're not on the same show anymore. It's Raw and SmackDown. So it really doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't need... Like, Samoa Joe doesn't need the win, more or less, is what I'm trying to say. Roman Reigns could use the win because he keeps losing to Brock Lesnar because Brock Lesnar's a big old money bully. He was like, I am Brock Lesnar. Give me money. I'll see you next month. Maybe. Maybe in three months. That's what he talks like. He doesn't talk because that's what he talks like. He said, "Let's do this." That's that's where we, that's where we got it from. Brock Lesnar said he challenged somebody. And that's and Paul Heyman's like, "Get off the mic, you dumb motherfucker." All right, so those are the seven matches. Those are the, those are my opinions. There's four other matches written here. I don't know what's going on. Jeff Hardy is on a triple threat with Randy Orton and Benjamin Shelton. The Bludgeon Brothers are defending against the New Day. Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt taking on Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. Cedric Alexander, the Entertainer, first Buddy Murphy. Who the hell is Buddy Murphy and why is that a name? I don't know if those are actual matches. And then there's another one. Uh, an eight-woman tags. Bailey, Sasha Banks, Ember Moon, Natalia versus the Riot Squad and Mickey James. I would not be surprised if Ronda Rousey shows up. That would be kind of interesting. 
That's even if it's a match. I don't, I don't know. I'm going with the first seven, um, and that's it.